now we'll move on to the wiring connection of kvl so what does kvl states kvl is nothing but kirchhoff's voltage law it states that in a closed loop uh, the input voltage should be equal to the sum of the voltage drops in the circuit now you just have a circuit which has one rps so whatever the voltage is there it is going to get dropped across these two resistors and across these resistors we have connected two voltmeters so this input voltage should be equal to the sum of these two voltages across the resistors now we'll move on to the connection you just have the positive supply which is given to a 330 ohms and the other end of the 330 ohms it has to be given to the it is in series connection so we have used a wire for shorting it is given to a 1k resistor from this 1k resistor you have it has to be grounded now you have two more connections that is across each resistor a voltmeter has been connected so a simple circuit where you are going to give a supply and this 330 is going to be in series with 1k and this 1k is going to be grounded across each resistor you are going to have a voltmeter being connected okay now so as usual you keep your voltage knob in minimum position and current knob in maximum position now the rps has been tuned to 10 volts now let us see a reading for the 10 volts you should get across v1 is 2.48 volts and across v2 it is 7.52 volts so when it has been tuned at 10 volts you can see the voltage of your old meter v1 which shows 2.48 volts and the second old meter shows the 7.52 volts so the input old 10 volt is going to be the summation of the old meter v1 and v2 thus the law is verified now we'll just have a look at the calculations now e is equal to 10 volts so now e will be equal to v1 plus v2 just write the current loop equation for this and obtain the current value since it is going to be a series circuit once the current is known when it is going to be multiplied with the resistor you will get the voltage across this two res uh, old, uh, across these two resistors v1 and v2 so uh, as such you will get the value as 2.48 and 7.52 for the input voltage of 10 volts and when it has been checked up this kvl will be verified